All right, it's been quite a while since I've made a YouTube video. I've been uh, both busy and uh, at the times that I'm not busy, I've been kind of lazy. But uh, I do enjoy making these videos and I'm getting a good response from them, so I plan to start making several more. I'm going to do the keys and once I finish the keys, I'm going to start doing all the parts inside of it and um, we'll see how it goes from there. For now, I'm going to be doing the left arrow key. For this keyboard, it also says home, but it should be the same for others. The letter keys are different. My uh, cat Felix might make a cameo here in a second, but as we look underneath the key, you can see the same kind of crisscrossing mechanism that's underneath the other keys. Uh, if you can get something real thin and flat, like this tool that I've got here, this is a spudger, um, get that. If you can, in between those little crisscrosses, if you can get that in there, you're golden. You can lift the key up without causing any damage to anything. There we go. Oh, it goes flying off, but you can see that it's off of there. I didn't break anything. Let me retrieve the key. Felix, <laughs> you are in the way. All right, key is retrieved. Cat fur is all over me. Anyhow, here is your home key. Dirty fingernails. I am a computer tech, not a hand model. So the bottom of this, you see the two close together on that side and the two far apart on this side. They coincide with what you'll see in here. The two skinny close together end up in there and there, and the two far apart end up there and there. What's important to note is that these will just snap on, but these you actually have to hook in or else you risk breaking off these tiny little tabs right here. So without explaining too much more, to put the thing back on properly, you'll really just want to uh, set it down mostly in place, but with this one you'll want to slide it to the right as you are snapping it in. So I'll give it just a little bit of a rightward slide and that looks like it got it in there. And there is the left arrow key. These keys should all be the same. You may possibly want to go further or have accidentally broken off more of your keys than I've shown how to get to so far. So I'll show these little plastic tabs. They are similar to the tabs on the other keys, just a little bit skinnier. Uh, I'm going to pop this one off nicely if you want to see how to do that. You want to just give it a little pressure until it pops out of that metal hook. And the same on the other side, pressure from this side going that way. Um, and it will just pop free. Um, so now it's just sitting, being held underneath that little metal hook right there. Uh, that is how we want to get it hooked back together. This little piece is very annoying and hard to deal with. I hate these things. But with a little practice, they're not too difficult. Um, we can see the same kind of folding that's on the other one. Skinny part, skinny est part, you see at the bottom there. You want it to be going down so that it can get into that little metal hook right there. Um, mostly you can just kind of set it down and slide it over that metal hook. The other side is much trickier. I uh, kind of have a hard time doing this with one hand. So, uh, let's see if I can get my camera to focus here. This one metal plastic tab I want to put over here first. And while that's in place, give this side a push. And there we go. I made that look ridiculously easy. You're going to want to use both hands. It's going to be much more trouble than that, but that's how you get it done. Good luck, everybody.